Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to thank each of you for joining with me for Tuesday's Daily Bible Study coming from Charlene's Outreach Ministry. Our lesson for today is how excellent is his name. How excellent is his name coming from Psalms 8 verses 1 through 9. Amen. We're going to get ready and get started. But first, I want to ask if anything you said touches your heart, soul, or spirit, or you have any questions or comments, please feel free to jot them at the bottom of the screen below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. Also, if you will, uh, join with us and subscribe to my channel that we may together study and, 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 and become one by meditating on the word of the Lord. Amen. As it strengthens us and builds us up to deal with the situations and the troubles and the trials that we go through at this time in our life as we're dealing with the COVID, as we're dealing with our families, as we're dealing with our jobs and our responsibilities, amen, that God will give us the strength and the, the, the knowledge and the understanding to go forward and to still be able to put his will, his uh, uh, desire for us in our life ahead of of other things in the, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We're going to get ready and get started, but first we're going to have prayer, then we're going to move right into the lesson. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for making a way out of nowhere. We thank you, Father, first of all, for watching over us all night long as we slumber and slept. We thank you, Father, for waking us this morning and touching us with the finger of love, Father, uh, that we had our right mind. We thank you, Father, that we had activities of our limbs. We thank you, Father, that we do have uh, 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 clothes to wear and raiments to wear and food to eat and, and a roof over our head. Lord, we thank you for it. And Lord, we pray for those that, that, that do not have those uh, things in their life, that whatever they're in need of, they're in, in, in that, that through your grace and mercy, that they will be uh, brought forth in their life in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for all that you do, all that you have done, and all that you shall do. Lord, we give you honor, glory, and praise. And we thank you, Father, for giving us the ability to walk and to talk and, 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 and to breathe because, you know, we thank God for that because many uh, uh, can't breathe on their own. There's many things going on with so many people in this world today and we don't realize the great blessing we have we even you know we said many people we, we 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 look at the fact that we may not be rich like many others we may not have uh, the fancy cars and the fancy home but we thank god for what we have we thank god for the blessing that he has given us we thank him for where he has brought us from to the present time in our life. Amen. That things many times have been much worse in our life. And, and, and we thank you for bringing us to this point. And even if things are bad at this time uh, in our life, that we know as we lean and depend on you, Lord, that you will help us to get through. You help, will help us to walk through uh, 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 this our situations and our troubles in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you honor, glory, and praise and we thank you for it. Father we thank you at this time that you open our eyes that we see and our ears that we hear and you give us wisdom, knowledge and understanding from on high as we study and meditate on your word. You says in, in uh, Proverbs above all things to get wisdom, knowledge and understanding and Lord we seek you. Through you we regain we wisdom, knowledge, and understanding as we study your word, Father, as you said in your word for us to meditate on your word day and night, that we will be ready as Jesus Christ our Savior was ready when, the, when Satan came to him and tried to tempt him, he was ready with the word. We thank you, Father, that we shall be ready with the word because we study and meditate on your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, we're going to get ready and get started with our lesson. Uh, our lesson, uh, as we said for today, how excellent is his name. Coming from Psalms 8, verses 1 through 9. And we say, how majestic is your name. Uh, the, it, the scripture lesson text reads, to the chief musician upon Giddeth, a psalm of David. 
O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings has thou ordained strength because of thine enemies that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Amen, amen. This is a wonderful and powerful uh, passage of scripture, a lesson uh, coming from Psalms that David uh, 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 magnified. The, the name of the Lord. Amen. Commentary says, The psalmist seeks to give unto God the glory due to his name. How bright this glory shines. Even in his lower world, he is ours, for he made us, protects us, and takes special care of us. The birth, life, preaching, miracles, suffering, death, Resurrection and ascension of Jesus are known through the world. No name is so universal, no power and influence so generally felt as those of the Savior of mankind. But how much brighter it shines in the upper world. We on this earth only hear God's excellent name and praise that the angels and blessed spirits above see his glory and praise that. Yet he is exalted above, far above even their blessings and praise. Sometimes the grace of God appears wonderfully in young children. Sometimes the power of God brings to pass great things in his church by very weak and unlikely instruments that the ex excellency of their power might the more evidently appear to be of God and not of man. This he does because of his enemies that he may put them to silence. We are to consider the heavens that man thus may be directed to set his affections on things above. What is man so mean a creature that he should be thus honored? So sinful a creature that he should be thus favored? Man has sovereign dominion over the inferior creatures God gave and is appointed their Lord. This refers to Christ in Hebrew 2, 6-8, the apostle to prove the sovereign dominion of Christ shows he is that man, that son of man, he is spoken of whom God has made to have dominion over the works of his hands. The greatest favor ever showed to the human race and the greatest honor ever put upon human nature were exemplified in the Lord Jesus. With good reason does the psalmist conclude as he began, Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth which has been honored with the presence of the Redeemer and is still enlightened by his gospel and governed by his wisdom and power. Amen, amen. Such a wonderful and powerful lesson. I pray you meditate on this lesson and have a great and blessed day. God bless you.